Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce. In this video, we are gonna talk about packages in Salesforce. Let's begin with understanding the differences between unmanaged and managed packages. First of all, unmanaged packages cannot be upgraded, whereas managed packages can be upgraded. Second is, you can edit the components inside the unmanaged package, whereas you cannot edit the components inside a managed package. Now let's move on the types of packages that you can create inside Salesforce. First of all, first one is a standard Salesforce package and second one is data kit package. A standard Salesforce package is generally available whereas data kit package is only available in data cloud. A standard Salesforce package is used to package the metadata or objects which are generally available in your Salesforce org. Whereas data kit package is used to feature to to package the features which are available in your data cloud. As you can see in this table, you can package or you can uh, package the functionalities like calculated insights, S3 data streams, ingestion API data streams, and data models using the standard uh, Salesforce package. And if you have commerce or CRM data and data streams which have the data model mappings as well, that you can package using data kit packages. Currently, I do not have data cloud, but I can show you how you can create the standard Salesforce package. So to do that, I need to go to setup and in the quick find box, I need to search for package. And select package manager. Once you click on it on this page, scroll down and come to the packages section over here. Click new to create a new package and let me just provide a name and select a language and save it. Once your package is saved, you need to add the components that you want to include inside this package. To do that, just click on add. And let's say I want to include a flow definition. So I will just select the component type as flow definition. And I'm going to select this flow and click add to package. Once it is added, you need to upload it. So click on this upload button. Once you do that, it will take you to a page where it will ask you to create a version of this package. So I'm just going to give a name as test package v1 and version number as 1.0. If you have any release notes or post install instructions that also you can provide here in forms of URLs. You can also provide the description over here. Important thing here is if you want to restrict the access to this package with the password that also you can configure here in, in these fields. Okay. Once everything is done, you need to click on upload. Once you click on it, it will start uploading this packages components and it will start the working behind the scenes to generate the URL that you can use to install the these package components in some another org. Once it is complete, it will give you this URL. Currently, I'm not going to use this URL because it takes some time for this URL to work. So I have already created the same package with the same screen flow. Okay. And I'm going to copy this URL and here I have logged in in some another org. So I'm just going to uh, paste this URL in a new tab and I'm going to log in inside this Salesforce org. So once you are logged in, it will take you to the page where it will ask you for the permissions that you want uh, for, for which profiles or admins or users you want to install this package for. So you can see, so this is the uh, pack, uh, this is the page to install this package. And here is the name of your package. Here is the uh, organization name from where this package is being created. And you can select uh, uh, whether it is, uh, whether you want to install it for admins, for all users or for a specific, a specific profiles. So in my case, I want to install it for admins only. So I'm just going to click install. Once you click on it, wait for a couple of seconds to couple of minutes for it to install this package in your Salesforce org. Once it is done, it will go, uh, it will give you a message over here and it will also send out an email to you. Okay. Once that is completed, you can come back to your install packages screen in your Salesforce org and try re reloading it. And as you can see, it is installation is complete. Just click done. And in this install packages, I can see that flow package is installed and click on it. You can also see the components, what components are included in this package. So if you click that, you can see that there is a flow which is included in this package. 
so now let's see whether this that flow has come through or not so i'm just going to go to flows and the name of this flow is reactive screen flow so if you see here yeah we have got it reactive screen flow has come through it is not activated yet but it has come through now remember in the uh, beginning i said that uh, unmanaged packages the content of unmanaged packages can be edited so if you see this is our package and uh, it is not a managed package because if it would have been uh, so uh, let me just show you uh, when you create a package there is one checkbox used to come so here you can see the managed pack managed checkbox okay so we did not click this checkbox and it is not even the editable field for now why because there is no uh, namespace settings is configured in my own okay so that means this is an unmanaged package and uh, or, or you can see the that information on your package settings as well so just click on this package flow package and here you can see the package type as unmanaged okay so uh, as i said earlier that unmanaged package you can edit the content so i'll just go to this reactive screen flow and uh, i'll go to this uh, flow builder and let's try to edit this flow let's try to do some uh, changes in it so let me just say this click on get accounts and let me try to select this only the first record setting and let's save it So as you can see it is saved that means this is a type of unmanaged package that is why I was able to modify the contents of it.